Uh, you know what time it is. It's time for our trick of the day. And we are joined live by Sherry Davis and Diesel, better known as Rex, the star of the hit show Hudson and Rex. And today's trick uh, is going to be called the hide and seek. And we're going to get to that in a quick second, Sherry. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Diesel. So good to see you both. Sherry, before we get to it, we wanted to share with you, of course, we get so much engagement and love for you both every week. Mm -hmm. And this was sent in. It says, uh, my dog was asleep on the couch. She then <laughs> jumped up and backed up, ha, 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 and then did this. So we see that these doggies love them, some Diesel, some Sherry, and it gets them going. Then we had this viewer write in, Susan Vouse. She says, this is a question for Sherry regarding Diesel. I want to say I love BT and watch it religiously. Thank you, Susan. She says, keep up the great work. One of my favorite parts is the training tips with Diesel from Hudson and Rex. Wondering if you can ask Sherry, how old should you start training your dog? And if any dog can learn these things, like Diesel, I have a two-year-old Havanese poodle mix named Blue. Look at this doll with the blue eyes. Anyway, just thought I would ask. If not, that's okay. I understand. Uh, Thank you again and stay safe. Well, and your Havanese well is adorable yeah. mm -hmm. too. So what do you say to all that, Cher? You know what? No dog is too old and no dog is too young. See? So you can start training puppies as young as four weeks of age from the breeders and you can train them right up until I've trained 10 year olds new tricks. So wait a minute Sherry they say you can't teach an old, old dog, dog new, new tricks. tricks. They've been lying that whole time? That was a trick. Yeah they've been lying the whole time. <laughs> they tricked us. Okay so Sherry you've this week you've got a trick called hide and seek? Yeah so I, I did this the health benefit really is it could save your dog's life. But the actual benefit to this is summertime, people are out hiking, they're going to the cottage, they're letting the dogs run around. And one of the best things to do is to teach your dog to find you. So we started some scent work and we've done so many tricks that all come together and combine to help this trick be successful. So what you're gonna do is you're going to start in your house and you're going to hide behind the shower curtain, in a closet, um, in a box, anywhere behind. You can see out here, I have a bunch of things set up and we're gonna hide behind something. And the trick to doing a hide and seek yeah. is you have to use your voice and a sound maker Ooh, for the oh. best results. Okay. Yes, so when you're out and you, let's say your dog is running or you're out with your partner, you can hide behind a tree, have have your partner cover his eyes, and then call the name and make a sound. <laughs> it's gonna look something like this. Okay. I think there might be a sound in this room. Let's see if Diesel can find it. Oh. So it looks like yeah. the hide and seek was all the way down at the end behind the shower curtain. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna call Diesel back and then you're gonna see a little figure running around back there and that is actually my assistant Victoria, <laughs> who you guys have not met but you're gonna meet her today. Nice. I love a good cameo. Because we yeah. Need, yeah, you need two people to do this. Come on, bud. So I'm gonna bring him back and when he's not looking, I'm gonna get him up here. She's going to go to a new location and I'm going to keep him engaged so he doesn't peekaboo. <laughs> There's so no cheating on breakfast television. Don't <laughs> cheat these. And then as soon as she's in position, she's gonna make a sound and we're gonna see what happens. Oh wow. Very cool. There you go. So this time the sound was actually lying down hidden behind the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, bud. Way to go, That's awesome, Diesel. Diesel. Never lets us down. Never. Never. So, so you can see he's bringing back his bunny. Yeah. <laughs> so he gets, he gets, um, you can do it with a, a tennis ball, a stuffed animal. This has a little squeaker in it. So it's really beneficial for the training. And then you associate the sound mm -hmm. and the name of the dog and then the dog will start to associate that sound with a recall because a lot of people use the come command not correctly so when they call their dogs to come they don't actually come right. so this teaches the dog to come every time consistently Good. now i hear there's another trick up your sleeve a very special one because i can't believe this we've enjoyed this so much but this is your last appearance <laughs> yeah on bt canada so what's this final trick yeah what's have? going on here share 
me. Well, so. by the looks of things, Diesel is trying to take me somewhere, so we're going to ask Diesel to take us wherever he wants me to go, right. and we're going to find out. Come here. Oh, okay, Diesel's I'll like, follow real. You. this is for real impressive. Okay, this Diesel's is like, hey, this, this is important to Diesel. What could it be? Oh. It's got to be big. Well, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, Diesel, did you want to pull this? What's that? Hold on, guys. Take that. What's pull, happening? Pull, 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 hey. pull. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Pull, hey, pull, 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 p